I am so sick and so tired and it's so hard to keep my eyes open but it's Wednesday so I have film this and get this up for you guys it was just Christmas as you guys know so I haven't been home ignore the the mess in the background hey guys what's up it's Brittany and I am your guys' Wednesday this week on who's next we decided this week's theme was going to be family just because Christmas just passed and a lot of people were spending time with families and memories were made and it's just a good time you know to appreciate family and talk about family there's obviously a ton of different ways I could take this video this week I thought it would be a good idea to I don't know if the camera's straight. If the camera's not straight during this video, I'm sorry. But I wanted to do a twist. I'm basically an only child, but stop before we go on. Technically, I do have a brother. He is my half brother. It's my dad's son. He is like 33, I want to say. So he's probably like, thir I don't want to do the math, like 12, 12 years, 13 years older than me, something like that. He lived here when I was like super little, like I don't remember it. And then he moved out and we didn't talk to him for a while, so pretty much my entire childhood. I didn't know my brother and then we are in contact and stuff again and I see him but I call myself an only child so before I get called out from anyone I know saying like you have a brother yes I know I do a half brother but I've just always grown up and people just consider me an only child so there's a disclaimer before we start this video what am I gonna talk to you guys about today the perks of being an only child because I feel like only childs get hated on so much because yes we can be spoiled brats but that is not our fault but I wanted to talk to you guys about some of the perks of being an only child because there is a few of them, believe it or not. Does this, is this even family? Okay, twist. So like family, typically it's like, oh, brother, sisters, family, siblings, blah, 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 blah. I'm twisting it and talking about not having siblings. Me when I'm trying to just make an excuse as to why this video makes sense for this week's theme. Number one and probably the most important, I get my own room and bathroom and I never have to fight with anyone about it. And I, I know a lot of siblings get their own rooms as well, but I know a lot of younger siblings have to share rooms or a lot of times you share a bathroom with someone. I don't have to do that ever. Like it's never been a concern of mine. I get my own bed, I get my own bathroom. I never have to ask anyone else when I can shower. I can just get in and it doesn't affect anyone. I can pee whenever I want because I don't have to worry about anyone being in there. I can get ready whenever I want. Every drawer and cabinet and shelf on the shower, they're all mine. I don't have to share them because no one else goes in that bathroom but me. That is like, mind blowing. I know, crazy. Number two, I don't share my parents. Mainly my mom, obviously, but I am the closest to my mom. I'm a mommy's girl. I don't have to share her with anyone. Like, there's not like, oh, I have to go do this with this person. I have to, well, obviously her friends, but you know what I mean? Like, she doesn't have to put her time out evenly between her kids. Like, she only loves me. There's no, no sharing the love. Like, I am number one. That's, I'm number one, like, and there's no number two, like, just me. I didn't brush my hair yet today, can you tell? Number three. Now, this could be, because I know siblings have, like, the unbreakable bond. This might make a bond to the I don't really know. Told you, I'm a hot mess always. For vacations, I always got to bring a friend, which is pretty cool if you ask me. I mean, obviously, I don't have a sibling bond like a lot of people do, so it could be different if you have, like, a sister or brother close to your age that you go on vacation with. It's probably just this one, but... I know as a little kid it was always really exciting when I got to bring a friend with me on vacation because it was just cool. Like, I get to bring court with me everywhere. What else? What else? What other perks? Four. I've never had to share my clothes. This always go back to like sharing and stuff like that. I never had to share a fight with anything like on Christmas. Uh, Eve, no Christmas we were all talking about it like my aunt and my mom and my cousins and how they always would fight over their jeans and their clothes and their makeup and things like that I mean obviously I fight with my mom about it a little bit but for the most part I never had to share be like oh where are my clothes oh well my sister like my one of my best friends she'll always go out with me and then her sister will blow up her phone and be like if you don't bring my boots home right now and I'm like ha ah, see I never had to deal with that because there's no one here to take my clothes Oh, woo! I'm trying to like come up with all these benefits. This is probably me being like high key better than I am an only child, honestly. There's probably not that many more benefits of being an only child, honestly. Um, without sounding like a spoiled brat. Like, the, my parents never said no to me. I got to do. That was one really cool thing, I'm not gonna lie, about being a child. Or, 
being a child. Being an only child is I was able to do like sports and stuff probably way more than I would have been able to if I had said the sports. I danced and I was bad at it. But dance is expensive and I did it competitively and I know for a fact if there was more than one of me, my mom would not have been able to afford me to do it or both of us to do it. So that is a perk is I got to do some things that my parents probably wouldn't have been able to afford if there was more than just one of me. That's five things, right? That's, that's enough, don't you think? I think I've probably got... I think I've probably convinced you as to why being an only child is the best. You're never lonely or anything. You never get bored or... So... <laughs> I'm done with this video. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm so tired and so sick and so stressed and so many excuses. This video is just me being a hot mess. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. My channel will be linked down below if you want to go check that out. And don't forget to subscribe and come back tomorrow to see who's next. Bye guys.